This morning, I have the answer to an Ask Allison question. This came from a viewer about beach passes in Warwick. The question in part from Donald was this, where does the money go that Warwick residents pay for beach passes? Well, the short answer, the city tells me after a little bit of back and forth, is that the money goes into the general fund and also to help maintain the beaches. For beaches with lifeguards on duty, there is a fee. If no lifeguards are on duty on site at a particular time, no fee is charged for that day. Lifeguards in general are on the beach from 10 in the morning to 6 at night at those beaches, and that is the time the fee is required. However, I wish I could say it's everywhere, but it's not. At Connecticut Point, for example, the beach in question by our viewer, the city does not have enough lifeguards there to staff that beach. There's a sign stating that too, but the city continues to collect a fee. What's that fee for? Parking as allowed by the city ordinance. We have posted all kinds of information on our website about this too, including rates. Right now, passes cost $20 per resident per car, $10 for seniors and veterans. We've summarized all of these rates for you on our website, turn to 10.com, so you can follow along. Do you have something you want us to look into? 455 9123 or email a question to askallison at wjar.com and we'll see if it rises to the level of a news report.